Hey, you! Don't watch that! Watch this! This is the heavy, heavy monster sound! One step <laughs> Why not have Brokeback Mountain starring Heath Ledger and Denzel Washington? Rather funny, don't you think? And I do believe YouTube approves of having some funnery and buffoonery like this on my videos. And I'm all for it. Guess what else I'm all for, folks? A bit of madness and frivolity. <laughs> And Suggs from Madness couldn't have framed that any better than I tried. And this classic song from 1982 pretty much sums up the madness that's going on with Jaguar right now because, oh boy, they've been caught in 4K and it's absolutely hilarious to react to. And that's just what I'm going to do for you today. <laughs> Yes, Alleluia, it's the video show. And now, the man the BBC calls... Jason King on Kung Fu Hot Dog. Anyway, this gentleman from Australia, from down under, called M Guy, Australia, because I just stated that, has received a memo from Jaguar themselves regarding that horrendous advert that we saw last week. You know the one where they take the philosophy design of the founder of Jaguar and it's copy nothing and obviously what you see in the video or that advert was absolutely nothing except a lot of gender ambiguity fied people walking around people that you look at and you think there's no way they'll actually have the money to even buy a Jaguar at their local JLR car dealer. But let's just have a listen to what this gentleman says here. I'm just going to go through bits and pieces of his video, but I'll give you a link to it so you can go and watch it for yourself. But it's rather telling, actually. Jaguar Land Rover. And this was last Friday. Powered by Unity. Do Dear Jaguar and Land Rover team, our new Jaguar brand has been introduced to the world this week. The work of the team has been guided and inspired by the timeless quote of Jaguar's founder, Sir William Lyons, a copy of nothing. And they've hashtagged it copy nothing. Interesting. I am also reminded of another quote from Sir William. The car is the closest thing we will ever create to something that is alive. This humanistic, organic connection to everything that carries the Jaguar brand, or in this case, Draguar, has never been more evident. We are the custodians of something very special to the fabric of popular culture. Are you ready, guys? Jaguar, the leaper, the spirit of the great British brand. Well, funny, you're comparing a car to a cat of the wild, and I saw no hint of that magnificent animal in your video, Jaguar. What drugs are you smoking? Really? And again, this statement here is a hint of gatekeeping. We, by the way, get accused of gatekeeping video games, movies, TV shows, and comics. But when the shoe is on the other foot, what do you think happens? Oh, you can't go after them because they've got a point to make. And if you go after them, you're lower than absolute scum life on the top of a dirty sink. In this context, the visceral response to the reimagining of the Jaguar brand is understandable, inspiring even. So they've acknowledged that people don't like that 30 second ad from last week, but they they're now saying that the, the rebuttal they're getting, the hate to hurt, the constipation is fueling their fire. That's how I'm understanding this. But for all the joy and excitement, there's been an undercurrent of unacceptable behavior this week. While I welcome all constructive debate and critique of our polarizing plans, so Jaguar, 
you're already admitting defeat and you know that before you've even woken out of bed today, I have to stand in front of the colleagues who have been singled out for their individuality. Hmm, colleagues with strange coloured hair? Maybe extra pronouns under their assigned biologies, perhaps? I do wonder. Some even wrongly identified for work that was not theirs, all because some people outside of JLR, that's Jaguar Land Rover, find it challenging. Understand that we will not hesitate to take action against anyone displaying discriminative behavior or language, either in person or online, during work hours or outside. Investigations and actions are ongoing into activity we have all observed this week. Rekindling Jaguar's soul is not the work of any one individual and has been created with love and care by many touchy-feely hands. Honestly, that middle paragraph where they'll take action against anybody who misbehaves during the workplace? Okay, what about outside, bro? How are you, how are you going to manage that? You can't do that. And I would say to some degree that's also illegal because when you're outside of work, you can do what you want. You can even badmouth your workplace if you're at your pub. Unless somebody catches you in 4K on a camera phone or whatever, then you might be effed for the rest of your life in that particular organization. So again, I don't know where they think they can get off by saying, we're going to police you outside of work. You can't do that because not everybody has a social media account. And, and if you do, why would you even disclose who you are and in fact if you are on social media you would use an alias wouldn't you so it's hard for anyone to track you down oh dear look at that adrian mardell he him the ceo of jlr <laughs> the first one of the first thing that comes up is that he won a british lgbtq plus award ah! in 2024 so that's interesting. So Adrian Mardell, who's not a Mardell, after 34 years in various financial roles as JLR, Adrian was appointed to the position of CEO in July of 2023. Throughout his career, Adrian has been a transparent, motivational and compassionate leader, y'all. <laughs> as CEO, he has made it his personal passion to champion and drive. <laughs> Everything I do is driven by you, as once sung and orchestrated by the great Brian May, who likes badges for some reason. DEI, sorry, DE and I initiatives at JLR, <laughs> believing that creative strength comes from our differences. He has shown unwavering support for the LGBT community's rights and representation. Which again lends credence to the fact that Jaguar should be now rebranded Draguar. In May 2023, he became the first ally CEO to march at the Birmingham Pride Parade with our colleagues demonstrating the importance of allyship at JLR. This is bullshit, by the way, because when you had that other Bob, not Iger, Bob, what's his face with the bald head? at Disney when he was going against all the stuff they were doing. Bob Chapek, that's who I'm thinking of. It's been such a while now, actually. And he didn't want to get involved with that Florida State thing where they wanted to change the uh, how you teach kids at school about certain impressionable gender subjects. They don't need to know about the Florida bill, right? And then suddenly when the Disney outlet was turning against him, Get to get in front of a camera and say, well, I'm not, I really do support the LGBT. What a complete and utter moron. Adrian Mardell. Oh, yo, Adrian. He actually made this speech at an LGBT presentation. This is really Let's funny to that. watch. Um, how does it feel to win the award? Uh, oh, my God. Really weird, actually, because <laughs> uh, as I said at the end there, I, um, you know, we shouldn't be in a world that you win awards just for being a good person, right? But it's really important that we stay strong. But she support this satanic nonsense that's behind you. All the pride, purpose, progress, 
nonsense, legal in general, that are now being paraded into this nonsensical cult. Not even hippie. Hippies at least knew what they were doing. But oh my gosh, being interviewed by, let's just face it, a drag queen. That's what they are. Jeez. My guy down here, he's he's not impressed. I don't blame him. So yeah, I'm delighted. I'm delighted for the people with me. Because they're the ones who've gone through the personal challenges in their lives. And What's personal challenges got to do with making a car? Huh? And I think that award, this award, is mostly for them. And they'll know it as well. That's exactly what they'll be expecting us to do. He's accepting the award. He's going to keep it on his mantelpiece. Listen, Adrian, bro, that is not an Oscar, all right? When you win an Oscar and you put it in your bathroom or in your living room, that is something that you can tell all your actory friends, this is what I've done. This is what I worked so hard for. Uh, but yet this guy's like, oh, I'll make sure that when I get this little trophy that all my gay friends and colleagues at uh, Jaguar are going to know how I treasure each and every one of them. I bet you do, Mr. Mardell. Look at that outfit. Good grief. I mean, <laughs> oh, listen, be flamboyant. You ain't no Elton John, are you? I don't know who this guy oh, uh, Tesco. Tesco of all brands are dragged, just eat, are all hijacked by DEI and ESG. Oh, this is disgraceful. I love that. Well, allies like you are so important. Um, you've shown unwavering support for the community. How do you believe that businesses can continue to champion diversity and inclusion for the coming years? Yeah, I think it's, <laughs> look, it's really, it's really interesting. What I've found is the amount of work you need to do here isn't that much. You just need to be clear on where you stand not tolerate act if you need to act i like how this buffoon right here is like nodding like a fucking donkey oh 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 it's evil it's a cult it's uh, it's worse than some extremist religious groups out there right and uh I hate this echo chamber this guy Mardell speaks in because he thinks, I mean, to quote Matt Dillon from Something About Mary, uh, he probably thinks his own poop doesn't stink. That's what I believe. Disgraceful. And just give people the freedom to do what they wish to do best. And all the hard work's done by everybody around you. Well, there's a couple of things. I'm not going to say a lot about this. I'll leave it to you to comment <laughs> down below what your... <laughs> He's right. You're not going <laughs> to... He's absolutely correct. This guy's cool, but I like him. So this is Glover. Rawdon Glover. The managing director, the MD for JLR. He looks like a normal guy. He probably sounds like a normal guy. But when you visit his LinkedIn profile, everything's not so normal because look at that. He, him... Hello everyone, I'm Nick Billingham. I'm a Caucasian man with glasses and a beard. I go by he, him, and I'm a security evangelist here at Microsoft. Oh, honestly, I'm glad I've got Denzel and Heath Ledger as my companions today, my so-so gay companions while I'm the not-so-gay Jason King doing his thing in his rather cozy little room. So caught in 4K, Jaguar, not going well for you. Your shares will be plummeting very, very soon and you might be forced to rebrand, although I think they won't do that actually. They'll just triple and quadruple down on their absolute nonsense. And by the way, it seems like a lot of major companies are moving away from DEI and ESG initiatives. They're running as far as they can before they get consumed by the woke mind hive virus that is out there because EEI and ESG destroys everything it touches. It's a cancer that you can get rid of, but it's up to you, ladies and gentlemen, whether you decide to do that or not. And if you're a member or a subscriber of my channel in the next few weeks to come, then you know I stand against all that nonsense because I'm here to preach common sense. I'm a stupid dumb guy in his stupid little room somewhere in London and I like to wax lyrical about things. And sometimes I like to wax myself. But on that one, if I were you and if you were me, you may wish to return for the next video.
to tune in next week for another exciting story from the files of Police Squad. <laughs>